Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Uh, we're on Path 4. Yeah, it looks like we got a couple new enemies here. We got the Gracious Cupid. Uh, which have no weaknesses or particular strengths. And we've got the Berserk Turret, uh, who are weak to electricity. So let's go ahead and use some electricity on these guys. All right. Yeah, not necessarily very strong. Of course, we are super overpowered. Well, not really overpowered, but we're super powered. Uh, let's see. These guys had a particular affinity against wind. Or, or wind. Yeah, I don't know. They like wind, so let's not use wind. Anything but wind. How about using some fire? That should take care of the cupids. We're almost done with this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, use the, the guy that actually uses electricity. There we go. No big deal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, eh, nothing interesting there. Okay. Well, we'll take her then. And continue on. Uh, we only have... Hmm. You know what? I think this door just has a chest inside of it, so let's go ahead and open this up. Oh! A chest and Teddy and um, Yosuke. I think we've already... Awareness note, huh? Uh, I think we've already uh, talked to these guys, so I'm not going to talk to them again. I think we did that in the last episode. Uh, the awareness note, I think, keeps you from being... Ah! Lowers the enemy's chance of having a preemptive attack. Uh, I don't think we have too much of a problem like that unless we completely miss each other, and even then, I'm not too concerned. Ooh, we got a red enemy here. Let's take this guy up. Alright, that was a or two Eldorado beasts and a Reckoning Dice, and the Reckoning Dice actually smacked us one, uh, went ahead and exploded on me. That's disturbing. Uh, which kind of rude too. Let's go ahead and continue this way then. Uh, looks like we got a couple new enemies here. We've got the Eternal Eagle. Uh, yeah, we want to use Darkness on those guys. And the Jotun of Grief, uh, which are we to light? Um, so let's go ahead and use. Oh. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use ice. Evil touch, huh? All right. Well, let's go ahead and start with a good uh, darkness spell here. That should take care of the eagles first. Yeah. Alright, well that also works. Alright, so he's poisoned and down and had a critical attack against him, so we can go probably take him out with this. Oh, I'll attack him we'll here shortly. Yep, we did. Not a problem. So those guys are also weak against wind, I thought I saw, so no worries. Really, nothing that I really want. Okay, we'll take the money up. Well, we want the money. You know, a lot of money, so... Go ahead and take that. Okay, let's go around the corner here and get this chest. Uh, assault signal. Ooh, and the Reaper's on this floor. Uh, if I find him, I'm going to find him, but the chances of me actually finding him are pretty low, quite frankly. Um, so I'll probably run into other stuff first before him. And I'm definitely not afraid of him at the level that I'm currently at. No, no. Alright, we found the stairway. Uh, so let's keep going here. I don't know, let's go up in the let's see if we can dive past one of our enemies here and dive to the chest and see if he's in it. Because if he is, I'll fight him. <laughs> Hey! Let's, uh, let's open the box! Uh, uh, yeah, we're opening the box. Just let me in. Yeah, some thing jumped out of the box. We're gonna do an impromptu Reaper battle here, because why the hell not? It does feel really bad. We've already fought him before. Um, I'm not terribly concerned about this guy. We're gonna do quite a bit of damage. I think my cat's interested in what I'm doing. 
Uh, let's see here. Hmm, let's switch over to Lucifer. Yeah, I'm way over leveled for this guy um, at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take him out. And um, when I'm done, I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. We uh, just finished taking out the Reaper. I uh, didn't get any items for that. Didn't get any barely any money. But uh, that's okay. Oh, we got the Mo I'm sorry, we got the Moses sandals here. First of all, let's heal. Um, Kiko took a, quite a bit of a beating there. Uh, kept getting whacked, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, the Moses sandals. Uh, those are shoes for Chie. Wow, look at that! Look at that increase in damage there. Holy crap. Uh, the nice shoes give a uh, evade physical, but this gives critical rate up high, but look at that damage increase and that hit increase. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and put those on. Um, not exactly the most attractive sandals on the face of the planet, but that's okay. Alright, and we got a new enemy here. We got the... Thank you. We got the Doom Sword here. Uh, Doom Swords are weak to darkness. darkness, so let's go ahead and just, uh, that's not darkness. I don't know what I'm doing there. Uh, the reason she is a little low on SP is because she used her, uh, Dragon Tussle for the last battle, which was extraordinarily useful. Probably the reason why we survived, um, without Yukiko getting any stupid attack, um, attacks on her. Yeah, I'm a little upset that she got hit so many times with physical attacks, of all things, um... Not entirely sure what her attack rate was doing, but holy crap, was it bad. Or what, I guess mean, I should just say her evade rate, because that was bad. But we survived, and we're down a couple items, but I'm not necessarily concerned, so. Alright, and our other Izanagi learns Heat Riser. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and forget about that, I don't really care. We'll continue. The cat's trying to get me my attention, so. Uh, we got the last little bit here. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Alright, nothing we haven't seen before. I bet this enemy's gonna be something we've seen before as well, so I'll go ahead and take him out uh, as well. Alright, so the last chest on the- okay. I just miss. Oh, really? Alright, so we gotta go home out of, out of that, and uh, we're ready to move on to the next floor. So let's do that. I cannot believe you're still unperturbed, even after stepping so far into my realm. One had not the eyes to see things as they were, and failed to awaken to his power. One chose to avert his eyes from the truth, and allowed evil to taint his awakened power. But this one, he has come this far, yet he still yearns for the truth. He still fights. It sounds like Izanami is surprised by Senpai's power, even though she is the one who awakened it. Could it be that Senpai's power went beyond her expectations? Um... Sure, we can we can go for that. Um, I'm bringing up the map of the fifth floor. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I have no idea where it is. There it is. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get going here and take out the shadow. Lots of new enemies on this floor. Uh, starting with the moan, uh, moan, moon Okina, uh, we to fire, and the um. Uh, Tarm... I don't even know. The, this Panzar right here, which looks like it's going freaking crazy. Uh, he uh, doesn't have any weaknesses, so... Um, do we even want to use ice? Not a good idea. Let's go ahead and just attack this guy. Really? That's useful. Well, let's set him on fire. Fantastic. Let's do it again. Alright, so we got this guy left, but he's about done. Oh, nice. Let's get a critical attack on him and take him out. Good news! Uh, we have a few more enemies that we can meet on this floor, so... Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's see what we get here. Alright, that's fine. Looking for that uh, shuffle bonus. <laughs> Finally got it. Yeah, we didn't get a lot of XP for that battle, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I am really not concerned about XP at this point in time. Then we got the Eye of the Wind. Uh, I believe that is... 
greatly raises evasion rate to wind attacks. Fantastic. Um, I guess you could give that to... I think Kanji is the one that's weak to those. Uh, so you can give that to him, but uh, I'm not too worried about it, so I'm not going to. Alright, let's go ahead and take this shadow out. And it looks like we've got uh, the next gene, which is uh, weak to uh, physical attacks. Um, so we're going to want to use physical attacks against that guy. Let's see here. I've got a different persona equipped at the moment, so let's go ahead and show him off. Oh, I can miss. That was great. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright. I think we saw Yukiko Senpai's true colors. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take out the next gene. That would be helpful. Yukiko Senpai? Okay. Uh, these guys are weak to wind and light, so let's go ahead and use electricity on them. Because that made sense. Um, I don't think there's any weakness to ice. Let's go ahead and use ice. We took out two of them. Uh, these guys are almost gone, so we can just uh, take them out with a physical attack. Oh, fantastic. Another critical. So that was, uh, that was good. Alright, so we've got three. Uh, I think he's one of the ones I need. Hang on a second. Alright, so he's definitely not one of the ones I need, so I'm gonna go ahead and deal some new cards here. Uh, still not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'll take that. Let's see if we can get something else. Okay, that was basically useless, but at least we got some money out of it. And we got T-Bar Shuffle time, so... Uh, yeah, there's a list of Persona that I actually am looking for, but I don't know if I can run into them in this particular dungeon, so... We'll keep looking. I got a life stone out of that. That's kind of useful. Let's go ahead and uh, go right. Well, obviously, because there's nowhere else to go. And see if this guy is a new, new monster. And it is. We've got. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name. He's a seeker guy. A bunch of eyes. It's kind of creepy. Um, we two fire and light. Uh, so light would be a good thing to use for this guy. Where is it? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we took out the full group all in one. So that's fantastic. Okay, well, there's no chance for us to get the shuffle again, so let's take the money. Uh, we do not need this guy. Let's go ahead and just take the stat up ones. Why not? Alright, it's got some more money. I'm looking to get quite a bit of funds, so... Uh, yeah, I may have to do some grinding if I want to complete my compendium, and I really don't want to do that, but that's okay. Careful. That enemy's immune to oh, so we've got another new work. enemy got here. Uh, the Rampage Drive. They're weak to electricity. Um, <laughs> it's so puny. Use electricity on it. I think a bird just hit the left. window outside. Don't give up. Come on! <laughs> I had a really thick funk. Uh, I may have to go check on that. Right after this battle. Uh, let's do that again. My cat's gonna go check it out, but I'm gonna make sure that uh, there's anything else. Alright, we can use God's hand and completely and utterly miss. Um, wind is what I want to be using, so let's just go ahead and use physical attack. Um, you know what? We can just go ahead and take this guy out. Alright, and that's fantastic. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I uh, wasn't expecting any of what just happened. Um, usually when I hear a thunk against the window, it's just a dove being stupid. Um, because our windows, I guess, are super shiny. Well, it ended up being that a dove was trying to escape a uh, 
Falcon, and he got caught. Yeah, we hit, hit the window and uh, the Falcon caught him. <laughs> kind of impressive, quite frankly. Alright, so, oh, wrong way. Let me go the uh, correct direction. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed that that Falcon caught that dove. And uh, he was huge, he was a good foot tall. I uh, kind of startled the crap out of me because I was just like, ah, what is that? And then I realized it was a bird. All right, I've got a gas mask. I have no idea what that does. And it's kind of hard to see sometimes when you walk into like a an area where you're brightly lit and the item in front of you is not brightly lit. Prevents poison. Fantastic. Um, that was just occurred because you, know, you kind of look like a pile of feathers. Well, he had a pile of feathers. He took it. He took that dead bird. So, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm really glad that he didn't leave the bird for me because that would have sucked. Poor bird. Okay, uh, we got a snuff soul. Oh gosh. That was actually kind of strange. We got hit with, uh, enervation, but we were still able to, uh, do the, uh, all that attack. I've never had it happen with two people only that were available. Why? Why do you oppose me? I did not choose three pawns in jest. It was all a certain what mankind wished for. I learned that man gladly favors falsehood over truth. Thus, I sought to fill their desires by shrouding the world in fog. Sure, there's a lot of things we don't see, and yeah, some of them we'd prefer not to. But that doesn't mean everyone wants to live blindly, as an army has it all wrong. We gotta end this. Well, um, do we want to keep and do you want to go ahead and end this, or do we want to stop for right now? Um, let's go ahead and stop for right now. I was looking to see what is on this floor, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna pause. <laughs> so let's go ahead and leave the dungeon here. And head back. Um, I don't know if I have enough money to fuse a new persona, so let me go take a look. Actually, let me save first, because I don't want to accidentally fuse some- I don't want Igor to screw up and fuse something I don't want. So, uh, let me go check. Alright, welcome back. So we're going to be finishing up our uh, Pentagon spread persona. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I went ahead and fused Moscato. Uh, that would be this guy here. M I'm sorry, Moscato. There we go. Um, I think Moscato is a type of wine. I purchased these three and this guy, Hachiman, I found in a um, spread at some point in time. Let's go ahead and pick uh, whatever I feel like. Um... Yeah, sure, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and fuse this person. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the whole um, spread fusion thing. Your shield, your sword, your friend. Alright, and uh, of course she gets 10. I think it's a she. Looks like a she. I could be completely incorrect, uh, knowing how thing uh, characters are drawn in these types of games. Alright, so uh, I don't really uh, Yeah, I don't really care for Heat Riser. Uh, you learn repel electricity when you already repel electricity naturally? That seems kind of strange. I don't know why that's the case. Um, actually, um... Let's go ahead and replace Power Charge, because I'm never going to use that. I have no idea what this attack is, the, the level 3 that she learns. Ah, uh, no. Please no. It'll probably be something like, uh... I don't know, Bufu or something like that. Cause holy crap! All right, so uh, that leaves us down to three persona that we have left. We've got uh, one, two, and um, three. Yeah, that's it. And I went ahead and fused White Rider simply because I could, and I wanted to clear my deck a little bit. So uh, that's the thing. I think we've got a few, few persona left. Um, that I could possibly fuse into something else, but not that I'm going to right now. I haven't used Beezlebub there. I probably should, but, uh, I don't know. A couple of my persona are just plain useful, and there's really no reason to, uh, to change them. Uh, I've largely been using, uh, Izanagi and Lucifer, and at this point in time, um, I'll probably use her, simply because she's got that Mahamian. 
And, uh, Izanagi or Lucifer don't have that one, but I haven't used any of these guys. Of course, there's a large um, overlap, <laughs> because you can tell, of um, moves. So, though, Beezlebub has all of the possible. He's got, uh, looks like, ice, fire, wind, electricity, almighty, and darkness. So, I'm really just missing a light attack on him. I could... Yeah, I just get a skill card on that one. And then, of course, this one I picked up in a spread somewhere. Um, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, we have three more left, and then we'll go ahead and have 100% completion. Well, I actually don't know if it's 100% completion on our compendium or not. I think we'll be very, very close. And I've got 98%, so that's, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Okay, well, so next time we're gonna go ahead and continue into uh, K or pull into uh, Izanami's realm and uh, see if we can find her.